We ended up going, we were in the 30s. We weren't much better than active personnel. Naval Academy, they were in the top 100 in everything in categories. We were in the top 20 the first year. Now, we've also played Villanova with no pun intended. You know, we didn't play, we played Notre Dame was probably the best. We would play, we played Duke with some of those guys. New Mexico hadn't been 36, went to two. What was the Notre Dame score? Uh, they, we ended up, it was 17-14 with eight minutes and ended up uh, 31 to uh, 24. I remember something at the end, talking to either you or Bob, so you had a switch on and somebody didn't switch? Or <clears throat> well, they, what happened was, what happened was the, the uh, linebacker couldn't get to a, the fullback screen. What was the goal over score? Uh, I think they got seven. I think we beat them either 17 or 24 to seven. They're usually pretty good. They, they the team that we played best against in that group, we played Delaware that year. Navy hadn't beaten Delaware in five years, and we held them the 57-yard rushing and uh, beat them like 31 to seven. I think was the final score. Hey, do y'all uh, exchange information much, like Virginia Tech or? Uh, yeah, I, well, a little bit Virginia Tech. Anybody else they got you go off with? I mean, people if people want to come into our house. I mean, basically, our, our whole his policy's been open door. Yeah. I mean, if you want to come learn it now, most people, when you look at it, because like like we've had the whole MIAA, Pittsburgh State, Emporia State, Central Missouri, Willie Fritz, uh, Northwest Missouri, Northeast Missouri, Missouri Southern. Every one of them's come in because Pittsburgh State runs Robert, and now Emporia State's doing everything we're doing with Jerry Kill. But most of those guys are four three teams, and they're you know it's just unless you you can imagine it. It was like with Bump. It took him a month for me just to call Tide Eagle instead of field, you know, instead of Strong Eagle. I mean, some things you have in your mind, you know, that's that's just the way it is in your mind. And, I'm, and it's not as wrong or right, but that's just the way it is in your mind. These four or three guys, they come out and watch the practice like, I never knew what coverage you were in one time while I, was, while I was out there. Because, you know, so many people are so set. You say, they've always used to say it, if you're in squats and halves, you're in squats and halves across the board. If you're in quarters, you're in quarters across the board. Or you might be quarters of squat, but they can't. For them to think I'm in zone over here and we're playing a man call on the back side because it's solo, they're like, so they're like, no, I can't do all this. So I've never worried about too many people doing everything we do because most of the people think we're just crazy. Except people would understand it. And once, well, once you get into it a little bit, then it's actually a lot simpler. The biggest thing we've had is now a teacher taught up to five universities in hour of years is we've refined it and have it moved now with the, the same staff. That was nice when we went to Navy because we took the same group and everybody knew the ins and outs and you could teach it. Went to New Mexico was harder for me because I went by myself. And those guys have been a quarter, quarter, half team. They're like, going boy, and they're like, this guy's. I mean, I didn't have to, I didn't have to work on the players as much as I had to work on the coaches because they had been worth a shit on defense. So it was more the coaches because it was young David and Mark, and those guys were all had been all young. They only knew one. They only knew one. One deal. Now, when we went to TCU, that was an easy one because we we brought everybody. And then it was from day one. You didn't have to. Everybody was on the same page. And that's probably been the easiest transition for us. And the other smartest move we had is this kid Curtis Fuller. That's our free safety. We had we had committed to New Mexico, and he's from Fort Worth. And he asked if we changed. He changed, and he had been a corner at Tyler Junior College. And then we moved and we moved into free safety that first spring. And he's really he he knows what everybody does up there. Now not all of my guys do, but he's one of those special guys that he can tell he can tell linebacker safeties and the water boy if he screwed up or not. Your GA is finished with you guys. Your defensive GA. He's finished with us, no, but it, I mean. Well, he has another another year with you. Yeah, he has one more year. Every, but about every one of them shoot uh, nine. You know, older guy, 28 years old or something? Yeah, about, usually. What's his name? Uh, Rick LaFavors, he played at TCU. Who's Marcus? What, uh, the black guy. On ours? Yeah. Uh, there's a uh, Jason uh, Medlock. Yeah. What's his point? Well, he's, he helps in the marking. The way we have, they have, we have, we have video GAs that help break down things, but they don't go out on the field. And that's what the way it's kind of what Texas A&M and some of them do. So we train them. And they never go on the field. So once our GAs leave, they already know how to do all our breakdowns, how to coach what we do, and we just move them up slow. 
He doesn't know much about us coverage wise. He's most of a front guy. But he played. Uh, he was a linebacker in college. Played at A and M. Played at UNLV. That's who your GA works for anyway. The front. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's where Rick Lafayers does. So and this guy's a front guy. This uh, minority guy. Yeah. Did you know Lafayers? He played last year. You you were at Texas. He's a walk-on safety. White kid. That was a kid you met. Mm -hmm. Where else do we need to go with dogs, Gary? Well, again, the common sense dogs rule, and this is something, again, it just it just built in because when you're in one back, we're not going to let the linebacker walk out. He's always going to have the one back. Because I call short dogs. Okay? <clears throat> and they come out and trip over. Well, you've told the free safety that he's he's reading where the dog side is, but trips is always is always a common sense breaker and breaker is not a breaker, but is always going to make you think because free safety is not going to read and have the remaining back. So if you had short dogs and you're bringing dogs off the back end, we're always going to get the linebacker. So what's going to happen is he's going to come to the front side of it. This guy was a doubles back here. Free safety go back when he's here. So it ends up looking like you're going to line up like you're a roll or whatever you are, and that's how it's going to handle. And I use the old, old Houston way of basically, it doesn't matter how you want to start to count, as long as everybody listens to him, you're all going to be right. The Houston, where they used to play Houston, where I got that cat, I got that cat, I got that cat when they used to play. And that's really what that's really what we do. And again, our whole thing is to make sure you can get lined up and we have things that you're that you're going to look like zone. And this will look like roll or special or blue or you know whatever with the solo call and this guy moves up late. Now, because you got to be able to handle it, this is the only thing that ever gets us into a switch call. And this is the only rule. The remaining linebacker, whoever it is, will always go look to the dog side to switch. So they come out and empty and it was short dogs. He doesn't have anybody because the short dogs told him they were go. He's the guy that's going to come over. So we do it now because you go on up, they just bump it. He goes switch, make a fire just like he does. If it was a double smoke, he runs it, and this guy runs the runs the gap. You end up with the dogs with your linebackers. So if I knew you were in five wide receivers, and this is what I told you, what we're going to start doing, we're going to start calling calls with bullets to create dogs, not just the bullet show call. But we're going to start creating one back dog calls with our linebackers. That's really like you go right there. That's it. Yeah. Now here's. Here, so that you know, this is how Virginia Tech is. Because he's always going to leave the guy in the middle of the field. Pro never makes any difference. But they will never run corners over. If you call dogs from the wide side of the field and you gave him a, a single with a wide set, automatically, automatically the linebacker are going to bump and they're going to make a switch. They're going to run it and the safety's going to cover because they're going to keep the free safety in the middle and cover that guy. Because the weak safety, the way they run their 4-2 alignment, it's more like a 4-3. This backside safety is going to stack. They're going to look like a 4-3. He has him. He has one of them. He has one. They're never going. They're never going to walk anybody. He's never going to put where you're going to keep him. That's the thing. He has different. Now you. Now I don't have you outnumbered in my dog's blitz. If I want to stop the run, I got you outnumbered. If I keep bringing this guy and bring this guy and be gap control. And really for in the Big East what they who they play besides Miami, that stuff holds up. He would not he would not like that in the whack. With five with five with empty. And some of the things that people get to. Or at least playing the, when you play we play the San Diego States and the Utahs and all those. Because sometimes you're not you're not going to get you're not going to get enough people to party to get there. You better, at least for our benefit, I want to get one more always. Coverage now, to go with dogs. Zero. Now we're going to get into just like bullets. We're going to get in here. I'll show you two back. I'll show you how just a basic one from the field, basic one from the boundary. You had one calling in Hawaii too. Yeah. Out of his own. 
Yeah, it's two blue and okay, it's so, so you, my answer to my question, you said zero, but now you're going to say you can do it with something else. Well, we're going to play if you want. If you want to, just like he asked me the question, next one is, can you do it with zone? So I'm just jumping to the next. Okay. But 99% of the time, we're going to run it with man, okay. zero. Got you. Now, just like do any one of those calls of wide dogs on that on that deal. But probably we do it with an army call because I want to get the end outside. Let's go. Let's go. Field G Army wide dogs B. So the call is Liz because here's the field. So there's a three technique. We're running army. So that's all the front has to know. Right. Okay. Wide dogs B. We're telling the linebacker to run through as soon as we hear wide dogs understood smoke. Okay. Now with the, the so we come out the wide side. Have to make a fire call, but he probably would. He right? will always do it, whether he has to or not, because we might change this to a lion. Gotcha. It might be wide dogs on there, and I might tell the safety, wide dogs number three, lion. So he'll tell the end, I want to do a lion instead of smoke. Again, no one else knows this except the communication between the safety. So even if the safety screws it up and doesn't run a lion, he says fire. Still then we're running smoke. So whoop, whoop de do. So now, instead of playing man, I call three strong. Now cover three by itself, as you obviously know, the free safety be in the middle if we didn't have a blitz on. Be just like you look. So what three strong tells us we're gonna run I run wide three strong. So I'm gonna ride, we're gonna roll, and I'm gonna give them a wide three strong drop call. Drop always tells talks to the weak safety, he's gonna tell the end to drop, and now you're in his own fire. Didn't teach anything blitz wise new up front. All I did with the coverage is we roll. How much of that do you run? Two percent. Because and only because you're because you're getting where you're max protecting everybody running two man rounds. If you don't if you if you don't run if you try to get more than two out, then I'm gonna stay with what I have because I can outnumber you. If you're trying to keep all these guys in and everybody slide and max protecting everybody, then that's stupid of me to stay in two on two. Then I'm gonna get into stuff like this. And we're gonna bring forward from the side and then we're eventually gonna get there and we're gonna play zone. But if you're trying to come and you're trying to come out and hot me, you know. A and M is a lot is a lot of zone fire stuff. And yeah. people, well, go ahead. I was just going to say, your backside linebacker, he's uh, C three. <laughs> he'll always three find the rough. yeah. He'll always find the wall. For us, it's always the hot. You guys oh, are more. It? You guys are more of that stuff than us. But for us, no more than what we do because we don't do it. We always tell them to find the hot within the box, which means that there's a tight end. So we end up with three underneath, three deep. Do you usually just do that from the field, Gary? No. In fact, probably the most, the one that we do the most because it can stay within our package and we can do it any time, is short dogs. Especially against two backs. Um, <coughs> build any, build any one you want to build with it. Let's just say, we'll just say. Type uh, G, uh, type G, Toro Blast, short dogs B. Okay. Let's make it field G, okay? Because we're gonna, we got to make sure that we're we're going to field. Okay. I mean, that would be with a man call. But let's just say the same thing you have. Field oh, G, yeah. field G, Toro blast, short dogs B, right? Yeah. yeah. So we got field G. So it's a Liz call, Toro. We line up in a G. We're slant, blast. Talk to the end, call side end to line up in a blast. Short dogs B. Now we will always have his number four still a Mike Spy. Is there a Mike Spy on that yes. one? Yes. Okay. When we would run a zone, when we'd run a zone fire scheme, we would always put a mic, whatever that linebacker is going to be running through, put a spy call on to him, because we know we're going to be. So the covers call here is going to be two blue solo. Well, obviously solo, if you got both of them going, somebody's got to cover the back to that side. So two read and left, two read and left. The weak safety walks up, says fire, and says solo to the corner. So we're going to put him in man. We're playing Robert of the field. Obviously, you could play three if you wanted to. But the Sam's on spy on the back week. Huh? Sam's on spy on the back week. No. No. He has, again, we have spy with the safety, and the office. guy runs inside. That's what the spy calls for is for the linebacker to tell him when he's run through his gap. Smash that guy if he shows. Hits him if he shows him. Mostly, especially like people get into uh, this. Uh huh. I mean, we could put a trips call so I could put special out here. So we got short dogs, two blues, special solo. They come out trip, we check special, 
we play solo. So didn't teach anything new because we're going to play special trips anyway. Week's eight, you says fire and solo. What's the technique of that end right yeah, there? Talk to us about your fire, and it's in, this is the thing commonly asked. There's not a good answer. <clears throat> Because if the guy fans, you end up with two guys in the gaps on a split inside. Now, what we're coming up with this spring is we're going to start doing some of this because of draw and other things. We're going to bring him, and we're bringing him behind. We're, double, we're going to double gap it. If he, gets, if he gets a run, he will play hard run. So if they run speed option, if he gets it. But if he gets a fan call instead of here because he knows he's running through, because we're going to give him a, we call this a M text, an, an M, a M text, meaning we go M to slash, means he's going to do with the linebacker. Tex tells him the tackle's going first and he's coming around. Yeah. So here it goes, slash, and he's looping. Well, could you do the same thing with the tight end side, too? Yes, sir. Yeah. As long as you don't have a cop. Well, the end is in a man situation. You can build any of this any way you want to. For two back, now see, like for us, if you're a big tight end two back, instead of being a TG, I might do it with a tight Toro. And wrap the guy. And then we might even, a call like that might be a field blast, field, Toro take blast, short dog's egg. Since we got a Toro, now you can go in the A. You go in the A because it didn't give him a G call, short dog's A, I'm running through the A gap. <coughs> That's a real, that, like that that'll get after ISO really fast. Yeah. Because with your blast, is that end plane outside the D gap? Yeah, well, yeah, he is. We, we've yeah. pointed it. When we do yeah. this, people don't run out. You know, you're not usually an outside zone team. Until you cross that nose across the center, he's got double exposure on the sand. Correct. Now, you said Toro take. Okay. So you're building in the, you're telling the end to come under, but really, do you do that with dogs? You tell the ends to come Yeah, under? will. Can. You can build it into their call? Yeah, because here's, here, well, here's, here's a call for you right here, and this is what everybody, the, all the zone fire this year, from a lot of people, and you guys I know do it, I haven't seen your film. We call it uh, Wide Dog C, which we're telling, so I'm going to do it with a boundary call. Now you're doing the long. Bring that five technique So I got a boundary, here. boundary Toro take uh, Wide Dog C. So we got a boundary, so it's a rip call, Toro, and let's just put it with a tank take. Because I'm going to protect against the option. Okay. I'm going to get a quarterback player. Okay? Wide dog C. Take. C tells the linebacker to the wide side. We're coming off of the smoke. If action shows, we're wrapping. Mm -hmm. Which now that's really good against slide protection. He's reading it. Can if, if they're that kind of if they're that kind of person. That linebacker is the one that's got to back up and, and save you. But he, if you can read it, but most of the time when we first started teaching it, we didn't. Now A and M, which does this a lot, which is a, which is a base call for them. That is a base call for them. That guy reads it all. That guy reads it all the time. That is the, that's like our twist and back base rule. It's it's a lot smarter to get that guy to play football and read it. We don't. We didn't ever when we first began did much of that. And the more we're doing it, the more we got into where we read <coughs> that guy. So action starts the way he starts, and then. Yeah. Comes so. back, knowing where his gap is. I mean, if you want to, you can bring both of us side. Here's here's one for you. S dogs. Call's going to be tight. Toro take. S dogs mo. So what I tell oh, them, tight. Boat. Toro take. Oh, another boat outside. Mm -hmm. Tight. Toro take. S dogs mo coming from the split end side. Told the linebacker just like the bullets to walk up in a mo, and you got four. You got two off an inch. Here's a question for you: Why do you add in the ends call when you don't do it in smoke? You just, you just well, I could in a smoke. Could. I could call type toro take double smoke. I just didn't. You just in the calls that we talked about. You just let like it. No, but in smoke, don't you just let the safeties tell the ends to go fire? Fire if I don't tell them to do anything else. So you don't really have to say take. Yeah, I do, because when he runs a take, he's now going to go in the B gap. On When I give an end of fire call, when I get an end of fire call, and if this guy doesn't fan, Coming he's, he's, a C, he's a C gap guy. So, I mean, if the guy blocks and he stays here, but take, he takes the B gap. He's going to be there. Yeah. There's, there's a difference in it. 
mean, but you can build any of these you want to. I mean, let's say you want to make a pass blitz with the dogs. You got S dogs. You're going to come off the split inside, and you want to break protection to something else. Let's just say you did, so I'm going to call it split G. Five, ten, eight, uh, and you want to get a wraparound guy. Let's go type G, X, S dogs, uh, A. X is the 50 side, in going first. Tackle. Now he's looping. Let's say you want to run it with a stinger call, so you want to bring the guy down tight. And you got the tackle looping like you guys on the general do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? S dogs A, so now the linebacker's running through here. I mean, it's. You name it, you think of it, all you got to do is write a sentence. And you can do it. And that's why I say. I can have 12 hamburgers go into a ball game because all they're going to do is one over and build into their call in the first place. It's not so much hamburgers bad because that works. What I'm saying is but I, can, I can buy a dozen of them. Because I can have 15 dogs and I can have 10 bullets and I can have 10 smokes. Do I run all of them in a ball game? Are they all a different call? No, most of them stays the same unless we break protection or something we want. As the cards got, as the watches got bigger, most of that we already know what we we do it for so they stay on the watch because it handles a certain thing. Mm -hmm. Then you go back to it. Then we go back and may, we may not use it till game seven, but it stays on the watch because you never know when they come out, especially in the WAC, you may be a two-back team all for six weeks and all of a sudden they're an empty team. That's why we always keep two or three cops on the on the deal. Now we play we play rice, we're taking cops off the watch. We'll give them less to look at as possible. But all of you have been there where you stood on the sidelines and said, I wish I had that call. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> well, what I do is we, we, we just built the candy store and put it on your, on your wrist. We're going to keep the candy store. And I've been, where, I've been where we went in there and taken a marker, and we want to change some part of one call and, and wrote it in, taking your watch out of the wristband and wrote it in on a call. And talked about it and did it. Because all they're doing is... The defensive line is just listening to what you told them. Army, tank, aim, Toro, Tex, X, Max, you name it. They're just doing what they do on a general basis as a front guy anyway. Yeah. Again, the secondary and the front don't have anything to do unless I want to tie it together. I'm going to control that. As a defense, if we want to tie it together, then we do that. If I don't want to tie it together, then I don't. What would be an example of you tying it together? Phil G. Army, White Smoke. No, I want to slam one way or bring one so guy off the edge. Away and bring the guy at the same time. Here's another one. Bullets. Double, double X, bullets A. I'm going to slam both ends in the, in the B gap. I'm looping right. both tackles and I'm running yeah. linebacks through the A gaps. Because, mm -hmm. you know, some people, they get so, when they, it's really kind of amazing. You can run just tight G bullets A and our, lineback, our lineman will pick up the guys. But all of a sudden they start looking for twists, and you twist those guys, and all of a sudden their eyes go everywhere, and all of a sudden these linebackers run a scud ass free. But I mean, you can do that any way you want to. One of the things that we've done, Gary, and has had, had some success, I don't know if you guys do it. For example, we have, where you have a uh, thunder and a lightning. Yes, sir. Okay, or maybe you have a T and an S dog. Yeah. We have combined those two into what we would say a um, tilt. So, for example, we're not sure what they're coming out in, or we do it off of backfield sets a lot. And, you know, if the back slid one way or we want to come the side yeah. each two, do you do anything like that? Yeah, we call it frog dogs. That's just a built-in call by game week. I see it on here. I yeah, frog dogs frog. means, so if you give us an over, an, uh, something that, Tells it like, again, going back to playing TCU or USC. When they get an offset back, that's where they're coming. So we call it frog dogs. And it's going to be building Tai G Tim, frog dogs B. We're going to bring the dogs off of wherever your back set was. So how would that communication go? Yeah, how do you do that? Safety. Well, the front, the, the front doesn't care. Right. So basically, it's just between the linebackers. We just mostly tell them we start on Tuesday and whatever the back set is, and we okay. call frog dogs. So they break the huddle, the free safety now. Say, just. Give me a, a, a 10 set up there. No, give me 11. Okay. Let's say they're getting the uh, tight end out, sliding that way, and they got, you know, they're going to step the back to the 
to the, uh, you know, you would just call split dog. Where we told them, because we don't know where, where this, well, because seeing one back doesn't matter because I always know in one back you, you can use a split and a tight call to do it versus one back. For us more, the dogs is going to come from if you're in a two back set and they're going to have a back set one way or the other. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that's, uh, they forgot because of us. If we know they're going to get a tight end out, they're going to split it. Then I, I'm going to set the front call a certain way, sure. and I'm going to bring it off the split inside of the Okay, the let's tight say they're side. going to do this. Okay. They're, they're going to take that back. Give, give me a shotgun. Okay. And if that back is over to the tight end side, they're, you know, they're releasing that tight end. This is good. They're double reading. Yeah. If he's on the other side, now they're going to go ahead and keep him in. Put yeah. So well, you, it's the same way we call it Cobra stuff. And we'll let's go ahead and put it in 10. I was okay. Say 10 originally. But yeah. No, it's, it's good because that's the same thing we do our offense. Okay. If they don't give us, if they don't give us, if they give us a shut gain offset, then and we know that's the man side. Then that's like we call it frog dogs. That's where we come from. Okay. So you break the huddle. Tai G Tim. Tai G Tim. Frog dogs. Frog dogs. We told them one back set. We're gonna. We're always gonna come from where the offset back is. Okay. Come out here. Reading right. They're deep. The linebacker. So this the guy, reading right. Is what tells them that's yep. the side we're running the dog. And these, just these, really, the linebackers say we're just talking. Well, the back here, here's where we're coming from. Okay. And we've got it to where everyone really even, even shifted that guy and went reading left. The pre-safety's got him, and we're now coming from the other side. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, when we do that, though, we always have a front call that's going to be generic yeah, enough, yeah, just like basic. the bullets show that you don't have to. Now you like when we run 50, it's something basic, right? right? Yeah, but you could still build that in. Tim. Yeah. Yeah, and still run guys if you wanted to have and run the guy through. Now your end just someone is going to give them a fire call. Right? Well, yeah, but I'm saying if, instead of running a Tim call where you're going to be double yeah. twos, if you want to run a twist, yeah. Now let's just say you wanted your linebacker to run through the A gap. So if you did that, then you could have a double X call. But you're going to have to be balanced on both sides. We're going to really have to do a lot of teaching, like you guys, would, like you just said, or you got a lot of teaching by the formation. So well, you just need to stay balanced. Yeah, for us, that's what we would do most of the time in it. Yeah, and who would? Uh, so the, one of the ends has to get a fire call, right? Yes, he would. Whichever side they were going to come to the fire, left. fire, fire. Yeah. The reading left tells every, everybody that's the side. I guess what I'm saying is, we you we, know, you you guys have been told when you say frog, whatever side the back is, so that, that strong safety there knows he's the guy that's coming now. He makes the fire call. No one ever says, hey, we're coming from the left. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. But I, I say it as a simple as I told him I told him when we run T dogs we're gonna come off the tight end side. Mm -hmm. When we say frog dogs it's something more specific than what we already do. It's just as specific as what we do when we do split mm -hmm. T S wide and wide and short. It's going to mean if something. we say frog dogs, now we're telling them we're gonna come from an offset back. That's just like saying, well we're gonna come T dogs and come from the tight end side. So the linebackers and the safeties all know, well there's the offset back, that's just like if you put a tight end over there and T dogs. We're all knowing we're coming from that side with the blitz, and the free safety's reading that way, obviously, anyway. And what you were telling me earlier that I'm just now the lights coming on is I'm thinking myself out. In other words, you're not going to have a three technique to one side because then you got a problem unless you're bringing that three technique under. Unless you want to do like the bullet slide where you're going to make one guy have to learn, you know. You, you could say tight, field, bench, split, tag. Yeah. And then run it, right? Yeah, you but could you, you got both guys in the A-gaps. Right, there you go. Uh, or a twist you. like I drew up right exactly. there. Okay, I'm with you. Yep. Okay. Good. But our, our, T is fraud, our deal is frog dogs, like yours is tilt. tilt. Most of the time, though, we don't do that much to a two-back, to a one-back. It's more of a two-back thing, but it's obviously... And you're doing we it have done for a run? run. Yeah, well, we're doing for run and sometimes protections. Well, you know, they, like for our guys, like we set Cobra, and that's why this is easy for us. When we call Cobra, our defensive line never listens to our linebackers because they're going to set where they want the twists. So against our offense, we know wherever the back puts, this is the half slide and this is the man side. So when we call Cobra Tex or Cobra X, that's going to happen right here. The two on two is going to happen here. We're not going to, we're not going to, and we set that always off with that where that guy is. Is that like old blue gyms that yeah. we're yeah. talking about? Yeah, it's, no, it's like when we call all our games, you know, where when Bettis, Bettis would, would call the game based yeah. on whatever you want to Which is all the whatever blue. you want them to call. And that's basically what we do. We usually we have one guy that's on the field that, that we put in charge of getting that lined up. Uh -huh. 
Now we teach all of our D line and all that stuff because we run Tex and X for run for run stoppers. But when we really want to get going, usually we're going to bring a group in the game that can go. Now, if I told you bullets thunder, who's coming? We've got the tight end side safety and two inside backers. So you got a seven man. To have a seven man versus one back, what do you got to have? You're going to have to have a cop. Because you only have four coverage guys, you're bringing seven. So you've got to have, you've got to have a cop. Then that's more of 11 personnel, 12 personnel call. Mob. Mob for us is like you call hamburger. Mob is a deal of we're now having bullets. Now I go mob B. Still going to be tight. You look underneath three and four. Tight G mob A, tight G mob B under cop category. Oh, yeah. Mobs understood smokes, and we're always going to tell the inside guys where to run through. So tight G mob B, both linebackers are, are running through B gaps, and we've got both safeties with a cop call. Again, only a one back, only a one back defense usually. Can you put a spy on there? Yeah, to put a spy on because both linebackers. Well, all four, the linebackers and the safety, he's got a four-way spy on the remaining backers. There's nobody yeah, for him. him up, yeah. Now, here's the other kicker. If he motions to empty, mm -hmm. the inside linebacker will cover him because we've had more problems with losing leverage and the guy running away from the blitz than we've ever had draw or anything else. So if we're in mob and we got that spy call, he motions, the linebacker's going to go, and you know for sure we got one more than what you got. Oh, yeah. So we're going to, we give up, we'd rather say linebacker cover the back and keep the smokes off the edge Get and safety. We don't usually ever switch a motion, meaning where you know how if they line up in doubles, a linebacker will walk out and say switch to a safety mm -hmm. and then run the blitz. If they line up in it, we'll do it. But too many bad things can happen when people start moving. Now we might bump something because we're both in coverage. But if that guy's blitzing, and that guy comes out here and tries to come out here and, and bump the safety to go do it and then run the smoke, we won't do that very often. Okay. And it's probably just because we don't work on it. He said he jumped him. Go ahead. For example, us going through this spring, we probably should stay pretty generic with what yeah. we're doing, right? We're not going to get into a whole lot of this stuff, I mean, because we don't really quite understand it all. I mean, we got to spend a whole lot of time. We've got good minds in here and we can sort through it. But I mean, like this spring, a lot of what we're going to be calling will be like uh, field G, two blue, solo. You know, and then we, we might run a field, we'll call it big smoke or something like that, because we don't want to use the word Y, meaning two things. But we'll say, you know, field, uh, big smoke. As long as you use big for when you're going to put your blitzes in. So you use big dogs, because that's one of the carryover things you got to have right. that really helps this. Is that you? I think I wrote it down like that anyway. Okay, zero. Okay, or you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then, uh, you know, but you know, I, I mean, I can already see the possibilities, as I'm sure you guys can too. Which we're a possibility staff, believe me. I mean, ridiculously sometimes. <laughs> the next question I had down here is. Your call here in Blitz on third and long against Southern Cal was Frog Dog Zero Bail. So you weren't running it with three strong? No, must have been playing it with man and playing zero with it. Bail. Okay, so what that comes down to is like when we ran Fire Man or Fire Zone. Right. right. Okay. Good. Great minds think alike. You say Bullets Thunder had to have a cop call. Why? Because you only you're bringing seven and you, you only have four coverage guys, five. Okay. Okay. Unless you want to spy it in silver. Yeah, right. And if you didn't get a back out, and you yeah. didn't get a back out, I might do that. See, that's what we would be more inclined to do. But if, but if, you, if you're somebody that might throw a back screen or get a back in the pattern thing, then I'm not, then I'm not going to be. It's just like why, if you're in four wide out, sometimes I run bullets and call zero free. So their offense early never gets the back out. They're always reading the linebackers running through, so I don't cover them. Mm -hmm. And they get pissed off. Well, who's going to cover the back? Nobody is right now. Well, what happens if we throw it to him? We'll throw it to him. Because <laughs> if you throw it to him, then I'm going to start covering him. But if you don't, you're not, if you're going to keep him in protection, you've got five of the broad time bringing six, and you're going to throw it to him, then I'll start covering him. Now you're going to throw it fast. Like we spy our end. We spy our end. And we do too. So, but I, more for me is for when he covers, is the leak through. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Leak through. Well, or the, or the, uh, the screen. Yeah. Like this, is one of our, this has been one of our favorites, which is nothing more than bullets to you. To you. 
but out of a 10 personnel set, we put these guys both up here in the A gaps. So if you're an outlaw. Right. Okay. We run a twist with these two based on the position of the back. So if the back's over here, he's going to be one, he's going to be two. He'll go away. He'll go away from the back. Yep. Forcing it here. We got a hard here. Now both these guys are going to spy. So if he's flare, flare, they got him. If he's inside at all, they're going to fold and turn it into a, turn it into a twist. That's cool. So I mean, they're basically going to read off. They're going to read off the back. So if he comes down inside and then peels out, you know, they're going to come back in. They're going to come back in. Now, for me, all I'd have to do is, is add another word to tell a safety to do that. I mean, an end. Yeah. Like we tell him to stay. We tell him different things. It'd be something else. Yeah. No, yeah. so that's a great idea. We've had that. In fact, we lined them up. I mean, you know, initially we started like this. I mean, we put one, we put one on the nose and one back here. You know, now we could run them away. Now we put them both up there. And you can put one here and one away from the back. Now we twist. We twist them. That's a ten. Get nine to give ten. We call that bullets AO when the linebackers cross. Yeah. So I mean they're going opposite, A opposite. A opposite. Why don't you take us through a mob, Gary, and then we I'll get some sandwiches brought in here for us. We can take the order. Well, mob, no, mob's two seconds. Mob for us is just like, again, it's just like mob is a key word like bullets thunder or anything. Instead of saying bullets and double smoke in the call, mob means bullets and double smoke. It's the only one that we do it like that. Just like understood, understood uh, dogs is an understood smoke. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So who, who, who are you doing? What what personnel sets you doing? This I day? go it against twelve and eleven. Twelve and eleven. Unless we bring in a nickel people and we get into like our fifty look, where we can it means bring the linebackers and the safeties and we brought in you know extra people to do it and I can show you how we do That's that nice too. Which tiger. is the same. Which well, is the same way you guys do it. Tai Chi Mob B. Zero cop. Spy. Weak safety lined up. Strong safety went here. Smoke, fire. Mob B. Tell the linebackers to run where through where. B. B gaps. Fire call. Tai Chi Free safety. Well, no, you could if you wanted. If you, if, like I was telling him, if, you, if you, your tackles couldn't figure things out, you do it the way you would never call. You want to slam him inside? You, you go tight G Tim, or you could go tag, tag, tag nose. But the B tells him he should be going. Inside. Yeah, we, that we do it unless we just get knuckleheads, and then if we do, then we'll do it like we do. We're just going to spell the sentence out for everybody. Free safety handles the one back, reading right. Cop left, reading right. I got 87. This is exactly. This is what we exactly. Now, again, but here you go. Type G, type G, take, mob, mo. Mo, okay. So now we're to take. Now what did we create? We created a, we created a double eagle with two guys coming off the edge. Now, Gary, bring all this stuff. Like with that free safety, well, he be he be showing. Uh, he'll probably be showing uh, your cover two over there, right? Much as he can, and this guy here will try to show blue, blue or, or five back here as long as he can and move up. That's like the one we were watching when you first when he came in this morning, where that guy didn't get up there fast. Enough. In fact, I got showing the first one. Yeah, in fact, snap. I I scared me to death the other day in the scrimmage because the guys are starting weak safety now. We're in cover five. And cover five is the one I tell him you can't show as long because you're the half player. His half because well our quarterbacks we don't notice nothing to do see if you like this or not. Uh, you know we've always said don't move and start moving once the guy puts his quarterback puts his hands underneath the center. But it's not truly really not true. It's when he puts his hands underneath the center and he gets down. Okay. So now what we're doing? The quarterback put his hands and we got a six-two quarterback. So he comes up and puts his hand right here. And he's looking around. Guy hadn't moved yet. He's still in a sky look. 
he's still showing blitz. I'm like, I started to yell from the sideline, get your ass back. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty soon the guy goes, starts to go down, he starts backing himself right out to a pileup. I mean, he just scared me to death over there. <laughs> Coach, back, back runs out to the, the open twin side, that inside back row taking. Flaring? Oh, no, the motion's out. Motions, back row ass. Mob, mob, we wish to him just what we just talked about. Yeah. Sets up inside on pass block, guy running through has him. Obviously, again, if you, the way you have it built in, you can actually build in with your hand away from the cop. Yep. And we've even done it where I've even said, mob, and, you know, I've, Let's just say they know we got a cop over there that couldn't call a lion. I could, I could actually call a lion and get a lion call on the split inside and keep a smoke over there. Because if I wanted to, I'd go this. I go, I go mob, and this is a long, probably as long a call as I'd ever do with something. I could go thunder, and then I go, then I'd go lightning, lion. I wanted to split inside to run a lion part of it. That's a long, that's oh, if we'd have to tell. If we're like running a double yeah. smoke and I wanted a thunder, I wanted from the thunder tight inside, I wanted a, a smoke, and I wanted a lion from over there, mm -hmm. and all I told the front was tight G. Mm -hmm. How often do you run something like this? Very rare. It's hardly ever as you can match all that up. It's usually you're just going to do it from one side or the other. I just call it from either, either be a lightning or from the tight end. Side. No, I, I don't mean the lion part. I mean, mob? Yeah. Mob, well, against Kansas State, the year we beat them at Utah State, we probably called it 15 times because we all lined up there. And either we were showing all this and backed out of or came. Yeah, I mean, it's like almost like, why not? You're at zero anyway. So. Well, the quarterback couldn't read anything. They were having to call the play down from the press, press box to the sideline and then try to check from the press box for the quarterback because he couldn't see it. Get your break down thing. Yeah, it's right over here, Coach. I just moved over. Would you like it? All right, let me ask you a question, Gary, and just see if you can put this into your vernacular. And I, Jim, I think that the value of it comes from the five and the nine, so you certainly could get them to say power or something like right. that. Right. You know I'm getting ready to ask, don't you? Oh, you get the split bronco? Uh-huh. Stroke. Oh, stroke. Yeah. You he couldn't get he couldn't get a five in there. Well, yeah, yes he could. I guess you'd be a split G power. Tell you how we would get to that. Hold on a second. Okay. We would call field shade, which puts us in a 50. Field shade. Or if you want the guy to get to a five, because now that guy coming there is the end, and the guy on the tackle is our, our tackle, our three technique. Mm -hmm. We'd be wanting to, it's like a field smoke. Okay. Used to run it. Used to run it all the time. But we're taking the backside weak safety now, and we'd be wanting to come over and play a front side half. What you've done is you've rolled. For us, we've already lined up that way. Yeah. Well, they, they we've were, already lined up. We've already got a guy here, or we had a guy here, and that knows the weak safety's already there. We just kept. This is our end. And this is our tackle. Call something to put you in this front for us. Field field base. Field base would put us in two five techniques with the tackle in the backside end, and the end here would play a six or a nine, whatever you want. So the strong field. safety would be coming and the free safety. That's still the free safety. Okay. Would that get the same effect? Yeah, it'd be close to it. Yeah. Okay. Up in the There's hundred ways, huh? Hundred ways to draw those oranges and apples up anyway. Fifty gives you about as much flexibility as anything does. I think. What you guys do. Because okay. you had an extra coverage guy. Anybody ready?
for a sandwich? You guys want to go, you want to go over there and eat it over there? Or you want me to? Go there. It's easier to go there. Here, put that on pause there. I think this is my old Nebraska grill that I got from Nebraska when I went up there and visited them. Thank you, sir. Okay, I got a quarterback. I usually start with one bag. You got a tight end, you know, a guy holding the bag there. It's a bag? A guy, you know, somebody holding the bag. Okay, like a dummy or I mean a shield? Shield. Or, okay. All right. Okay, first thing I'm going to teach is I'm going to, because they're seven, I'm going to teach you how to robber coverage. Okay. So I'm going to teach uh, toss and boot. Okay. So I'm going to teach four. So I'm going to, if I'm standing, here's the coach standing back here. Right here I'm standing. So I go usually two reps and then row two. So I'm standing back here. Okay. I'm telling the quarterback, toss, I'm telling him to take a knee. So I see this guy read through the end guy in the line of scrimmage, the quarterback. And then this guy back here, I'm going to tell him to cut off. That's why we have the bags. So they'll rip. Okay. So he's going to take a knee, he's going to toss it. I'm going to see this guy come on 45. That's you. I want to go with some knee. He went on 45. He's running a banana. I'm seeing this guy be slow and then rip across the guy's face back on the backside. Everything you teach within a in net. And this guy out here, he's three by seven. Three by seven. He sees toss. He's coming. What's he's the other cat? Here is on the guard. Eight to no, ten. No. Oh, three by seven. Because just in cover two. That's their normal alignment versus a tight end. Okay. Pro. But that was a pro set. Is he? He still... be three by seven off the tackle. Okay. What if he was the sky over there? Would he still be there? Yeah, three by three because there's no wide out. We just, it's just understood. No, what if he was a sky with a wide out? It doesn't matter whether he's, but that's what Robber is back then. So you got right. blue sky, sky call. Seven. It'd just be three by seven still. Three by three seven. seven. Yeah, if it's blue sky, then this guy would be moved over here. No, back side we were talking about. Three by seven. Sky's cover two. Do you ever bring him in any tighter? Oh, yeah. The guy plays where he can. Well, because, I again, I go back to this guy's up here showing blitz. Right, gotcha. He's up to him, but he's never really kind of lined up. Okay. So I got you on the toss. You okay. can run that either side. Yeah, so so you can either do it either side. So you're, teach, you, okay. you're teaching a guy to force angle. So you see if a young player, maybe the first time he does it, he's going to do this. Okay. This guy gets too fast, and now on the backside you're teaching him because the first thing a young safety is going to want to do, if this table is the line of scrimmage, when he's to cut that guy, he's going to want to turn and go sideways. Uh -huh. right? And you want to teach him to run sideways so he can rip across. Okay. That's why we teach him to read this guy's eyes okay. when the ball goes away because he's slow, slow, and then he wants to be able to rip across. He doesn't ever want to be deeper than five yards because if that guy ever pushes him deeper than five yards, he can't defend the cutback anyway. Did you have that guy cut back ever? No, not in this. Okay. Could. Yeah. Then you run toss I the other way. Can go run toss the other way. Well, if you run toss the other way, your free safety's still going to stay where he is, right? Banana, still reading on this guard. The next day you run it, do you say, okay, we're reading right? Can. Does, yeah, well, just, if I put it on the hash, they'll read to the field. If I put it in the middle, they'll always read left. Okay. All right. It's just going to be the strong safety and the free safety. Yeah, huh? It'll be the strong safety and free safety that you call him. He'll go, the read this side. guy, what I usually do, once they get a rep and they rotate, they go to the opposite side, because all we're working on is force here. Right. Okay. Now, the next thing I do is I'll fake the toss. I'll tell him to fake the toss. One, one more thing here, okay. I don't, don't mean to belabor it. That back is running fast. Yeah, I, I try to make this be a force, no, I'm, no this is a read drill. Okay. Right now, I'm trying to, first one I'm just teaching, I'm trying to teach Inside force angles, angles, banana, overlay. Right. Gotcha. And I always put a boot drill in. So now I'm going to fake the toss, okay. and now I'm going to boot. So now I'm seeing if, if these guys actually reading their tight ends or not through them, because when I fake the toss, I tell this guy, I want you to go 10 across the field. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy. Okay. So here he's going to come dragging. We mean 10 across the field. 10, yeah. 10 yards deep. I want you to drag. I'm going to tell this guy, block one count. Is he right dropping arrow. dummy when he does that, huh? Yes. So, blocks one count, and he arrows, just like he did in the boot deal. Okay. So, the free safety was reading left. So, here I am. I'm just, I'm just free safety. I'm reading, reading left, play two. 
He fakes a toss. I take the shuffle just like I was going to run the toss. Okay? It boots. Okay? So where did my eyes go first? Because I was reading left. So I go left. where? Left. Go right there. So I have him look right at that guy. What did that guy do? He blocked and ran an arrow route. So where do my eyes go now? That's right. Come back here and I rob. Because in robber coverage, if I get vert, if I get boot action different than drop back or play action straight back, I don't look to one. I look back to number two like we covered yesterday. Okay, so like if, if they fake right. the toss to the side you're reading, <coughs> I see the toss, I check the tight end. Well, I'm slow, yep. Now, but I'm not checking this tight end first. Well, let's say you're reading left. Yep. And they're so faking the toss left. Yep. And now he's running the route right away, so I'm just fitting him. Yeah. Now, I rob because that's my deal is to take some. Now, here's this. I'm not robbing. Well, that's what I, That's part of robber technique for me is, is teaching him to come back here and yeah. rob away the backside guy. I understand my question. Yeah. You're reading left, and they're faking the toss this way and yeah. putting that way. Then I just got my vertical okay, read. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. That's correct. All right. Now, you want to check and see if he's playing the drill? Put the quarterback, put the guy holding the bag, holding the bag. Fake that toss. Okay. And run that guy vertical. And what will happen, Young Free said, because he's back here reading drill and this guy does this and he'll just wait for the guy coming across, you'll find out if his eyes were looking back here first. Right. This guy, because if he's looking back here first, he'll go take this guy and, and you don't have it. Okay, so you were reading left and you faked the toss away. Why? So he shuffled, I look back to my vertical, vertical win, I got to go with it. Right, okay, I got you. But so young, instead of him coming right to me. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Now, the second progression of this, you could run out. If you didn't want to run toss one day, let's say you're going, is now, okay, now you want to work for us. Okay. okay. So now you put the quarterback in, you put the two guys. Now I don't put bags with them. Put a fullback with a bag. I work everything bags because, again, we work on being healthy. Right. Okay? okay. So the guy's holding the bag. Again, we're in cover two. Now, I may still run boot, but now I'm going to run the toss with it. So now I'm going to run the toss. I'm going to tell this guy to take a knee again. This guy, again, mm -hmm. might have cut, cut back. And now when they run the toss, now I'm going to see the angle, and I'm going to see him come meet the fullback. And this is what I tell our safeties on, on, on force. Okay. You are an offensive player. That fullback is taught to go to you just like you're taught to go tackle him wherever he's at. If you run up the field, he's going to block you up there. So you cut his angle down. So we teach him to come at the 45, make this guy squeeze down. We never want to be any deeper than three yards in the backfield when we collision the fullback. We want to be three yards okay. on a toss sweep. That way, here's your alley player, here's your net player, and here's your end sitting on the inside of the tight end. So that's the way you'd end up in a ball game. The biggest thing is what you got to understand and tell them, you got to tell them sometimes. Some people run the toss that they flatten it out and they get to the sideline. Right. So your job is to change the path. So not so much I come up and keep my outside arm free, I am going to come up and hit this guy in the mouth and then try to ricochet, try to keep outside arm free, but I want to close it down. Because sometimes you got 190 versus 250 that we have. If you try to come up and you do this, if you take any angle and ever, he sends you in the, in the cheap seats. So you've got to be able to, what we call dot the eye again, you've got to be able to hit it more square up, keeping the outside leverage of the arm. Again, if we'll make the path, even if the guy gets outside and we make the path bounce, I can, I can run it down. Mm -hmm. But if I run anything up here, you know, I get up here five or six yards where this seam shows up, yeah, I, haven't done, I haven't done my job. So that is the coaching point again, backside guys overlap. Okay. Now, Gary. Let me tell you what Jimmy Dickey taught me and tell me if any of it still fits. He used to say he doesn't want to trade one for one with that strong safety. So he'd say, like, take him up the field, fullback will come to block you, then you're ready to come underneath him. Be an offensive He'd coach. say, act like you're coming under the spilling, and then be ready to bounce outside like you were just talking about. Hey, John. All right, let's pause here a second, figure out what, uh, what did you get called in? What's John got to do? I'm going to make some copies. Oh. some stuff here for us. Jim, can you push pause on that thing here?
Well, as a base, if you stay in regular personnel, we stay in regular what we do. In all those situations? Yeah, except when you just, you start getting big, we start getting big. When we play our offense, and they get into this, which we're going to get from uh, next week when we get back and we get into heavy. Well, well, hold on that one second. Let's just say they're regular personnel. Okay. And you got short yardage. Short yardage, we're going to build calls just like we did there. Okay. Pinch you know call. what they run, you're going to... Yeah. It's coming out of your base stuff. Yeah, dogs. A lot of times we're running our dogs package. Bullets, maybe. If Could be. If it's going back. quarterback one. sneak or something like that. Uh, that's and probably the biggest pin. thing. We get third and one stuff. And usually the only way you can stop them is unless you play a guy in the center. And we don't do that a lot. But if we did, we would, we would do something where probably bullets. We use bullets to run through. Okay. Quite a bit. You're getting a power team, a team that's running two back. Power O stuff. Power o. Again, it would be the same stuff, slide stuff that we're going to play. Okay. Try to create things with slants maybe to try to free a guy up to get a tackle behind the line and stuff. Okay. Obviously, if it, a power call helps you, <coughs> get down to a five and a nine to get bigger mm -hmm. and stuff. Okay. Play out with blue. Mm -hmm. Just throw it out there too. Okay. Still staying in regular, regular people, okay. and you get down in the red zone. Okay. Where do you got? Where's the red zone start for y'all? Well, re really, we don't play anything different until we get inside the ten. Okay. So let's talk about inside the ten. Okay. Now most people don't give us this personnel right here. They don't, we don't get 20, we don't get 21 personnel very often. We're probably going to get, if we're getting anything, we're going to get this. Okay. Again, this stuff, for me, on the corner side, if I want to protect him, I'm going to play a fiddle call so I give a guy in a slant situation so he doesn't always have to play press. He can play bail. A lot of times we just play cover two. Because inside the 10, again, playing zone and not allowing, you know, large calls with the sky call back on the back side. If we want to get bigger inside, though, then obviously you're going to have to go to a two-shell look. When we go to a two-shell look, we have two ways to go to it. And we, have, we didn't talk about the man approach, but either you play blue and we will use a press call on our corner. So he's out of it. Because you got a meat call with the strong safety anyway, so basically you're playing zone concept, but you got you're playing basically What's man. A meat call again mean? Me it means he's got anything quick outside. All right, that's our arrow rule, right? Yeah. Look like that's just red. Pardon me? I mean that's very similar to our red. Right? So if you know if you want to get down into yeah. here, now one of the other things that we will do if we don't want to play blue and we want to get really tight is. When we play option teams, we play what we call zero pitch. Because every one of our man brackets, we want to be able to line up, zone bracket, zones, we want to be able to line up like man and have the same option responsibilities, but play man on the outside. So what zero, zero fiddle is like cover two as far as alignment. Okay. Zero pitch is like blue. Okay, now, so even if I played a five and a nine, I want to play a power, if I want to get the free safety way up tight, then I call zero pitch, press, bail, or whatever we're going to play out here. So now double power, zero pitch. So he's talking to the pre safety side. Let's say you call tight G Tim, double power, so you're in twos, fives, and nines. Okay. Pitch means what? Pitch means that I automatically have I have the pitch player. I select like blue coverage. We're not reading it. I'm the quarterback player because I'm in a power and I'm the pitch player. Okay. What's that like for us? Oh, down the goal line, he'll stand about six. He's not standing very deep. Five would be closer it gets. Still got a me call there. Yes. Okay. From that alignment, they play it like fiddle, so that guy arrows just like you said. Strong safety's jumping. What was this full call right here, Gary? Ty G. Tim, double power, zero pitch, press, bail. We will also, inside the five-yard line, play what we call zero catch, 
we will move back to the, move back to the goal line, and we will we will stand there on flat foot so that you take away the fade and the slant. You know, you're, you're talking him out of the fade because he's not pressing, and you play and you playing the slant from alignment. Okay. Now, any assortment of ways that you want to do all this, let's just say now it's. It's not first down. You're in third down, and you still, you know, you still got to be able to play the run. Again, we're going to go back to something where we can help you. A lot of times, and we're going to go back to zone. But if I'm going to go back to zone, I may stay weak power. We may stay weak power, and then I may be in so We'll get in something where we zero fiddle, and then I call a tough call to get these guys tighter. Instead of going out here and lining up in a cover two alignment in a fiddle. Three by seven. Yeah, I mean, he might move right up on it. Now, if, if we don't like this, and we know we're going to go to true man approach, we will call, we will call it whatever you want to call it, but it's, we call it big. We bring in another, we take out a corner and we bring in another defensive lineman. That's the first one of the first ways. Now, we play nines. Most of the time, we play nines with this. And within this, we can play, we play, we call this heavy or big, and we call it big wide. So, meaning we're going to move to four eyes if we want to. Okay? So, we're in doubles. Again, you go back to double smoke, and then we call double cop, not cop. You could actually play double cock where you play both of them in a cop and bring them off the edge and play a free guy. But the way we play this is whichever way the fullback sits, that's where the banjo is. Between the safety and the free safety, we handle it. So that if this guy doesn't have man, especially an eye backs, they can come either direction. This guy's got to be a force player. So we read it. So, wait a minute. so you're an eye, that free safety, we don't know which side the banjo is going to be until the fullback goes that way? Uh, Zero exchange is what we call with it, which means we're going to line up like a fiddle, and then we're going to we're going to exchange it by which whichever way the fullback goes. So if the fullback went to the right, he's got the tight end. He's the first guy outside. I got tight end. So if you could conceivably, if you thought we were in this, you could run a corner out and you could run away from the guy if, if that's what we were in. Mm -hmm. Now, if we don't like that we don't want this big and we still want to take a corner out, then we go to what we call our, because we had played against Fresno, we go to our Bulldog group. And when we go to Bulldog, basically we took, because our corners are not, again, big guys, and you can play power calls with this if you wanted to. We bring in, just like we do our nickel group, we're going to bring in an extra safety. So we're sitting back here with a weak safety. We're basically mirrored on both sides. So now I'm just as strong back here playing the run as I was over here with the kind of players. So that's we that's our solid, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what that's what we do most of the time here. And what coverage you playing with? Same stuff. Yeah. Now you go back to the zero pitch look. Mm -hmm. We play like blue on both sides. Okay. Where we bring those two safeties. And play those. The play man. Play man. Yeah. Or we bring those Don't two smoke. and we play zone. And kind of like a, I like the idea of a fullback. We say if you get flow to you, you know, it's a little different, I guess. If you get flow to you, the safety's going to take the first thing in the flat, and the linebacker's going to take the corner route, and the backside safety's going to take the tight end man to man, and the backside linebacker's going to look for the crosser. Now, when when you let's just say that guy becomes a winner, he comes uh -huh. in here, and we know it's not a wide receiver type, it's a H back type. Uh -huh. We go to heavy, and then we add, we go to the three down lineman look. We'll play this two different ways. We'll either play the blue approach which is not as good for inside running game, where we'll actually play like this, or we'll use our scoop or slide 
and then we play with that the coverage I just talked about in the case where we do the edge. So here we're playing blue, first guy outside, vertical on both sides. If we call scoop with this, we call oh, a zoop. Or did you take the corner out? Yes, no corners left. Okay. Super. We call, we call it super. 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 Okay. So now, wherever this H-back starts is where we're going to start. So we're going to call that always strength where the free safety is going to go. So they put him, start him here, then we're going to scoop. So Sam, Mike, weak safety slide in the box, just like we do our slide call. Now when we do this, the way the rules are, we have a banjo. Outside safety and free safety you have the H, H in the tight end. The two outside backers, which is the weak safety and the Sam, Okay? Have the fullback whichever way he goes. So if he steps this way, I got him. I am now looking at pass shows to help with the crossing routes. The Mike linebacker is always responsible for tailback, and that means he's also responsible for sprint out. <coughs> backside safety, with the setting away, he kind of stacks a little bit because he's got the backside tight end man. What's your force? Let's just say they ran a regular old power week. Down block, kick out with a fullback. Because we play nines, we play outside shade. As soon as they do it, he wrong shoulders. Okay. Then it's fit, just like outside guys got the outside, so it's just like option. Pitch, quarterback, outside force, fill. Because he's going to end up stepping around it. Most of the time, people won't run to where they have the lead back except our offense, and they've got to where they go, because they go loaded option, and they got everybody in their mother blocking out here for quarterback. The guy that they don't like, that they can't account for, is this guy. And the way you block it, if you want to fan out, you, you end up with a two-on-one in the gap because of this guy. They do not like that guy. They don't like that. They don't like this defense. Our offense doesn't. Okay. What about if that was a big guy? Stack guy, three. You'll probably do the same thing we just I just told you that we were going to do. After field. So I'm going to wait to see which way. So where the fullback goes, you're going to banjo. Or, or or we're going to go right back to that coverage. If we if it's too complicated, we're going to go back to this look. Move the same linebacker back over. I'm going to make sure I don't get out leveraged when I'm trying to steal from Paul. And what's your coverage there again? Blue, if I call this, or zero pitch, one of the two. Uh -huh. Either gets us in that alignment and tells blue us one. Okay, blue, zero pitch. That was just like when they were flanker set strong, the free and the strong were set like the a blue. Uh, yeah, pitch. Harold, he's got the guy vertical. But what it's telling you, he is going to be the pitch player no matter what to be uh -huh. sides. Again, everything in our offense, we have to build in. We have to build in option responsibilities mm -hmm. with every coverage we have because of, of what we see on a day-to-day -day basis. And it really kind of helps us because now in the season, we never have to ever worry about yeah. anything we play because, like, we put cover two in, first thing is tall is what their option responsibility. We put blue in and what we put five in the system. That helps a lot. And if I wasn't, if I ever move somewhere else, I'll do it the same way whether I'm playing that kind of offense or not because down the road, you're always, the way it's starting to come back, you're going to have to be able to do that stuff. How about if you just, how about if you're getting like one back stuff now when you're inside the camp? Okay. Again, if you don't know personnel, you're still okay making your calls, right? Yeah. They call, they're on the eight-yard line. It's second down and five, and they call a timeout, and they all go to the sideline. You don't know what they're coming back out with. No, you know, you'd be a little bit more based. But if I did 11 personnel people like this, one of the favorite things we like that we like to do is we'll end up being like uh, we definitely like a fiddle call on the twin side. Because we especially get inside the 80, this guy's really close to the line of scrimmage. You've already seen him play the cutback and do things. So option responsibilities, you're already set up really well. 
How, how, sh how much does he shallow up to? Well, if it's on the five, he's standing on the goal line. That we don't ever cut. That free safety? And we're in a fiddle. Okay. Because he's outside, he's got the corner, you know, they're going to double the corner out, but he's got the outside quick because, you know, it's not like we line up inside. So you got read and left. So let's just say if you, if you want a zone call, you can call two Bronco. And the other call I like versus one back is a special call. Two Bronco special so that you're going to handle, you're going to handle okay, uh, trips. trips. Because one of the things that happens in trips, what are you going to get always? You're going to get a, you're going, you're going to get a flat quick. Yeah, quick flat or corner routes. And this helps a lot with that. Now, they're trying to run it. They're trying to get another third guy in the corner route. Then a lot of times you can come back and just play roll down there. It serves the same purpose as everything that you're trying to get done. Because the special there, the corner's going to step up and take that guy man to man. I am right. So it wouldn't be uncommon for me to call, if they were a four wide out set, for me to call special and also call solo. Two Broncos special solo. Special's telling what you're doing on the trip side, solo's telling you what you're doing on the back side. Yeah, now I'm, I'm double doing everything. Like we're, because I'm, we're actually two, vert we got two guys vertical <coughs> at number three. So what, with a solo call, what could, if you coach it up, what could the free safety do? Let's say you're on, the, you're on the 10. He could actually see what this guy's going to do. If he comes anything across the field, he knows the solo player is going to play him. Okay. Like we're playing on, and this is not the 10, but let's say we're on the 20, we're on the 17 yard line. We're playing San Diego State. They're doing this. <clears throat> okay. We had special, we had solo. We didn't walk out because they didn't do anything with these guys. So we knew he could handle him one-on-one. -on -one. Linebacker moves head up at the tight end. Stayed in solo, so they're man. He stayed here, so when this guy ran vertical, what happened was special is when this guy did this, we doubled it. The linebacker was still the wall on the short, and the solo player played over the top. That's overplaying trips best much as you can probably possibly overplay trips. That that's the stuff they like they like to get to and they couldn't beat us backside here. They didn't that well, that guy don't catch balls, so we didn't worry about it. Is that the normal solo adjustment when they motion out of backside empty? Yeah, initially. Because you can't get back to roll sometimes they don't see it, so we save so this guy and what I'll teach him though is I will teach him to play it like a three D to be able to handle this three vertical handle the three vertical, and that way to be able to see this guy versus the linebacker. Mm -hmm. So, okay. special again, is the corners out, is it many two, Chuck? Yeah. Is it, is it strong safety, a, a read? Kind he's, of play? A, he's like a carry So like they go vertical, shoot. we're both vertical. Mm -hmm. Anybody outside, he comes off. It's like you eliminate this guy, and he plays like a quarter's corner. He's playing like a corner in blue. Yeah. That's what he's playing like. Always playing, we're playing on the number two and number three guy instead of one and two. You can play it like five if you wanted to. Could. Exactly. Okay. Again, he didn't shake his head, but he knows the special covers came from Notre Dame playing Miami. Because Miami motioned out the backside, they didn't want to be they didn't want to be in solo back here because the tight end the one running back ran too well so they could stay in zone and they had to have a way to play their combination rounds. Bump's the one that brought brought special with And I'm sure that was stole from somebody else too. Okay, why don't you take us through uh, why don't you take us through slide if you would, Gary. Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, okay. What, by personnel, is that how you do it? You like to do it by personnel? Yeah. We do it to three personnel groups, mainly. We do it to uh, 20, 21, 20, 21, and 11. And you use your other word, it's out. It's scoot. Scoot. scoot for. Oh. So we might as well hit that pretty good, too. Scoots versus 12. Yeah, and scoot could be versus 11 if we just want the linebackers to move right now without anybody telling them to. I mean, we're going to scoot over to the tight end side no matter what, like a 4 3 look. You know, uh, way Miami would line up their linebackers in a 4-3. They wouldn't move over and beat. So you're basically, you were, 
remove the split inside B gap player. <coughs> The way this all came about, we start with 21 personnel. The way you have, you have to line up in a 4-2, if you're us, we've always been, so you're A-gap, Conscious, and Mike. Slide pertains to anything that's an overshifted tight end formation. IVAX is an overshifted tight end formation. Okay? doesn't matter if we're in tight, split, field, or boundary at all. So where is the tight end at? Well, I just want to stop you one second there, Gary. Here's the difference between our league and your league and who we play. We saw 21 personnel this year almost 400 times out of 90 snap, out of 900 snaps. You guys didn't see it near that, did you? No, but, but I can tell you this much. Texas Tech did in the Big 12, and they got less than 100 snaps the last three years they were there. They were getting 250 to 300 snaps of two back, and you can watch Nebraska. Nebraska would lock, not lock, would not line up in pro set against the Texas Tech. I think we see it for a couple reasons. One is because they don't want our offense to have the ball, yep. so they're going to try to. And that would be a good reason. Okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. Because we're little. Think, little too, yeah. Everybody thinks they can smash us. And that's. And we're, in some extent, because people don't think we even have big ends at 240. Okay, I'm sorry. But the reason for the reason for the coverage, so we're overshifted. So let's just say we'll work out a tight always. We won't work out a split or anything else just for the concept, because it doesn't matter yeah. what the front is. So the call is tight G slide. Or you can call tight slide. You know, it doesn't matter. And you can call any slant that you want to with what you're doing. Right. Okay? If they give you an overship to set, we're going to give some kind of shell look to the rig side because I'm not going to overplay the set with my secondary and also slide my front. So it's either going to be two, three, zero fiddle, or zero free. Am I going to play on the rig side? I'm talking about on the call side. Any of these zone sets, I've got to play flip with. I think, not necessarily do you have to do that. <coughs> so let's say we're going to start with, we're going to call two blue flip with slide. Now, I am going to give a call on the back side to tell the corner, if we slide, what covers we're playing. So <coughs> I'm either going to give him a sky call, a solo call, and a bronco call. One of those. Now, I can actually, for mine, the way we get in, because we've been playing it now for three years, I can actually give them a Bronco solo call, because we never want to play solo to I-backs. Because the linebacker got man and have the ISO at him. So, i we'd always, if I come and I, two blue flip, uh, Bronco solo. I'm telling them, if, they, if we do slide, okay, I'm going to play Bronco. We'll never play solo. If they come out split backs, then we can play solo. So they come up here, they line up, they're doing it free for weak safety because he's the guy away from the tight end says so slide. If they're nine backs, I will be in a 50 alignment linebacker. I have no gap responsibility because it's covered up. I'm a free player. The Mike will move to a zero alignment. A shade of one of ten alignment on the center. And the weak safety will now come down, because it's two backs, he will come down and he will line up on the outside foot at the end, four yards deep. Now the key for me, and for him to do, is to never leave this, leave this uh, corner on an island at any point. So the general rule is, if I call slide sky, meaning we're going to play cover two back here, I would prefer him to line up like a sky alignment. And then at the last moment, after he already said slide, move in. So he didn't leave the corner thinking they could just line up through the hitch. If I called Bronco, which we know we're going to play from a press, then I would rather say slide and line up in a, in a, a shell alignment in the last moment move up to, move up to uh, the slide alignment. On the read side, you're just playing what you're playing, so we're playing two read and left. So he said, uh, 
don't like it against the IOs. The linebackers have the tags. You got split backs. Who's got who? The was we wouldn't slide. Wayside side linebacker has the back man, the corner has a man, and then whatever you want to tell the weak safety. Hole, free, right, deep, right, right, right. double. You might tell him you yeah. run solo and we want you to double that guy. Yeah. yeah. Which we've done. Or if the backs were set strong, you play solo too. You could because now there's not a threat of run at him, so you could actually slide and play solo to this. Because now you don't have a run threat right at this guy. That's not as big a problem either. Linebacker. Yeah. Linebackers are taking the backs and so on. If he comes to the man's side. Yeah. Yeah. If he comes goes to his own side, then it's. Yeah. So far, I said you wouldn't want to play solo either. Over, yeah. over here? Right. Yeah. No, no, but we wouldn't be sliding that either, because now it's not an overshift to set, and we'd probably be playing a sky call back here at Bronco. Because now you got a linebacker, because solo, if now you wouldn't slide, the linebacker's back, you, again, it's like, kind of like in dogs. Why don't we give the, the linebackers the tailback in dogs and one's not coming? Because you can't play this guy out and play, play action right at him. So we're better off being in some coverage that lets somebody else either be in zone or in sky, the safety's outside already, or Bronco was saying the safety's going to take number two outside first. So you're only mm -hmm. sliding versus I or? Any overshifted tight end set. What's your cool guy? I near. So which is I, and it could be this. Yeah. That is overshift to tie in set. Now you play solo, right? No problem. Yeah, now you can play solo because there's right. only one back. Right. But again, if I was teaching it, now here, here's the first common mistake young safeties make when you're putting this in. When you, you tell them slide sky, guess where they think? They think, they think sky. All of a sudden slide's going. They might say slide and get this guy to move over, so guess where their ass line is? Three by seven. Yeah. And what you got to understand is, slide became your alignment. What you have to do is you have to, you're telling the corner what kind of coverage. You're just playing it from a tighter line. When I say sky and you're lined up in here, okay, it's like the three deep, four three scheme. Yeah, you're right here and it pass shows your ass as the flat player. But you've got to just do it in here from then and stay yeah. out there. Yeah. Now, Twins. On, on the sky one, once again, you, what you'd like to do is for him to start out wide. Yeah. And then come come into the. Yeah, because you. That's correct. Yeah, just to. Just well, just because it it's a natural progression. He's in off. Huh? If the corner's in off, you yeah. want him to start wide and slide back. Well, in. when you take He's sky, there. at some point the corner's going to get backed off because right. sky means what coverage? To have two. No cover two, so he's going to be in a seven by one situation. Right. But if he's impressed, then you want that weak side safety. Exactly. Right. 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 comes down and plays yeah. Bronco. Okay. Right. Again, we're getting the fronts by coverage instead of the front being called, leaving flexibility so you don't have to be, they go line up and then you fit around it. Yeah. Now, they came out in twins, so you had the what call? Flip. flip. So once we flip, we're in flip coverage. Okay, we're just going to say we're playing blue out here. Now, where's the overshift to set? Look, Gary, let me understand something about flip first. Maybe these guys already do. I don't. It's only if they come out in twins. It's not if they motion to it. Uh, by game plan, we'll we'll run over we'll run over with it if they motion to it as a general rule. Okay. So back in pro, if that, that guy motioned across, you corner come, come over and we play flip. Motion is back. Are you going back to two? Yep, going back to where you were. Now the thing you got to understand with slide is whatever those wide receivers do doesn't make a hill of beans because this eye box is still an overshift to set to the tight end side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if they're giving you a lot of motion, then my my advice is to call zero fiddle with slide and play it or zero free and play man with it, and that way you're not having to worry about any of it. But then you're not really liking it because who's well, I don't like this because who's playing man on the backs? Linebacker. Linebacker, so you got man coverage and you're playing run. Who is our base? Some people do that. Oh, I understand that. But for me, comparably, it's easier for those guys to do that if they're not having to think that they're going to have to be running with somebody. 
Now, strong safety always goes to strength and passing formation. Okay, so he's like he's the guy lined up, but he's the guy away from the overshifted. So now the strong safety is the guy staying slide. Now, what I want him to do is say slide. But I want him to stay out here as long as he can, just like a sky alignment, mm -hmm. to where he lines up here out here on number two where he normally is, and then get in here, okay, to play. Now, normal check with a flip call because you, just like always, if you were blitzing, bullets. Mm -hmm. And they come up in this set, what would I have told the free and the strong, the free and the weak to do? Banjo. Banjo. Well, now that we're in a zone concept, basically a banjo is a check sky. They could say check banjo too if that's what you wanted them to do. So they check sky to any overshift to set, just like if it, this guy was over here and you're playing cover two. Yeah. Yeah. So now you're in zone, so this guy didn't have to worry about playing this guy man, he made a fourth player. We're just an outside inside. Now, we played flip and they didn't give us an overshift. We didn't slide. I will still play inside with flip coverage because I call it for run purposes. That's why we use flip. It's a run, it gets us in better run alignments. Okay? Now, I don't, don't need a sky call anymore either with flip. So now we're all just playing flip coverage, which means he's a man, which he's going to say what to the linebacker, solo. So just like if this was the three in our regular coverage, this is the weak safety and this is the corn. It's the same process. We still got to tell that guy solo on the remaining back to make him understand that we're in that back there. Now you'll see from our offense, well, not going in that yet. That's us. That's slide. At the, the go zero uh, fit off this line. Okay. Now, one now one we're just there. playing man. Yeah. Now we'd be playing fiddle on this guy. Now, in our suggestion, as you brought up the day, I didn't even think about it. With slide, what we've done is I've started calling zero free with it. So, because sometimes we try to try to run corner away. So what I did is start playing some zero free. So when we get slide, he plays outside mm -hmm. leverage. Yeah. And he becomes the free player, and we just leave it. And we live with this here playing man on the tight end, and, and if he blocks it on the fourth player. Fiddle would put him in a banjo. Yeah, but instead of a banjo, it puts him in two on one, because really in, in zero, he has the back and backfield by zero rules. What's, he, what's the back? Safety got nothing. Two on one, and that would, but he'll end up helping him if they did like this, because yeah. play action, this, if this guy does get fooled, then I'm on the outside anyway. Strong safety. Strong safety's got well, he doesn't have anything. He's a free player right now underneath because I never teach him to go deep. In our system, that guy could, is more of a linebacker type. Now, just like you guys are doing, and we'll get into this a minute later, our man free coverage also that we do with formation stuff like this is Tiger. Okay? If I wanted, just like Kansas State, emulating Kansas State stuff, if I want to get the strong safety to a tight end side, I would call Tiger and we use the word red. That's our signal for red. Two hands, one hand is zero, two hands is red. Tiger Red told the strong safety to go right now, tight end side. And now you get both these guys over here. If I want to play zero free with it, these guys would have a banjo or a get, could get a fiddle and then I've got a free safety back here that can play zero free anytime I want it. <coughs> now he never has ever said slide though. Yeah, you got no slide there, no. As much. But again, you don't need it as much as what you just did. And just like you guys did, I could call Tiger and I could call Power and call Red and I could get this guy down and strong safety place here and this guy's up. And there's a free player and that's what your isn't that split Bronco? If I call yeah, split. We got a slide call from that weak safety. We got a slide call from the weak yeah, safety. Yeah, so you're more you're like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's the slide player is now <coughs> safety play on that side instead of the linebacker. I get the same one. Again, it comes back what's, to apples and oranges. What's the red for? That's a cover. Red. That's a strong safety. Always strong tiger. Yeah, tiger red. Well, I just tie it together. 
But I would play red with Tiger. It's just another way. For us, red it was against here, run against the here, most here let me show you. Here you go. If you gave me one back and they lined up here, see the strong safety would go over here. Yes. We safety would be back here. Right. So what red tells us is we're going to take a normal zone alignment from the weak and the free, but the strong safety is going to the tight inside no matter what. So we call zero free and put him over here, and he's got man, strong. The free safety would still line up to his normal zone alignment. He'd be man, weak safety's free. And I would bet with Kent, that's exactly Kansas State stuff, that's exactly Texas Tech stuff. Now, Texas Tech, the problem with this, with Texas Tech, they came and brought our dogs package, but this is the one formation. They, they, can't, they can always come from the tight end side, but they can't come from over here. Not with safety, without moving people over. So what we had to work out with them is to find a way to run the dogs from a 4-3 deal, where basically like you teach this guy like he's an outside linebacker, like you're Sam, Mike, and Will, and you become a 4-3 approach here and do this. Which now that's bullets. Mm -hmm. Again, going back to the thought process of this being bullets. So that's what we're going to get into the spring. We're going to get into the spring of calling Tiger so I get my strong safety with the tight end side because he's the worst coverage player. And now, but I get him in the box against 11 personnel, and now I can start running dogs. But I'll call it bullet dogs or whatever the word we end up coming up with to get this over here, because who are they always looking for and us to do? They're always looking for the safety to come off, come off the edge. Now we're not going to give them the safety off the edge anymore. We're going to get them more of the 4-3 concept. Why? What hurts you about the safety off the edge? Nothing. They side adjust him more. I mean, that's where they're throwing three-step off of. You will hardly see anybody when we're bringing bullets ever three-step. So when that safety starts walking down, they get scared shitless of <clears throat> anyway, going back to slide. So Red, Tiger meant the Sam came over. Yeah. Or a strong safety came over. Go over tight end. Red meant. Red told him we're playing man free. Man free. Just, so you, yeah. don't, you don't call zero. See, I don't call so, anything in the front. The front's called tight G. Right. The Red. only people that hear tight, see Tiger are the safeties. Red is for the supplies of the strong safety. Tiger plus the strong safety. Red is a substitute for, man for, for zero. For zero. Yeah, for because zero. there's times when it, we wouldn't look like a zone concept if you called zero with all that. Yeah. And we have to come up with different coverage because people are in people are in different places. Right? Correct. That's correct. That would be the easiest way to do it. You kept my man free. Stuff, right? You kept your man free. See, you can within that. Getting to it, if you wanted to run dogs, if you kept your man free stuff, so you could call dogs, and then you're bringing your strong safety and your linebacker off the tight end side, you're still getting. And we do it too. If I want the strong safety to over blitz, and it's easier to do it off the tight end side because the way he lines up. Tight end side, you call dogs. It's a Sam and the line strong safety and the linebacker. If you want dogs yeah. from the split inside, then you're going to find a way for your linebackers to both run it from the split inside. Because you can't bring the free safety down. We just don't. Was Dean Campbell? Is he the one that put all this in? Tim and John Goodman. John Goodman. They're good. Yeah, I know he's a superb secondary coach. He's coaching running back somewhere now. Yeah, the slots. He's just glad to have a job. Where? Where at? Yeah. Air Force. Did he got let go of that? Their whole deep, their whole staff. I thought everybody thought maybe they, they would the keep the defensive side because they played so well through the years and they didn't. That's because Spike retired. Is that why they just run a new guy in and let everybody go? Something happened. Well, yeah, when they fired Spike, when he retired, and that whole thing, he was going to be one way or the other. It wasn't really. <laughs> it's going to be one way or the other. Mm -hmm. See, what they did is they had a committee. They they found a, a committee, non-related Texas Tech people that that found the people and then the board of regents interviewed. And hired the staff too that way. Hired the head coach and the defensive coordinator that way. Leach. You know Leach did not know did not know McMacken until they met at the first staff meeting. They were both at. And who told him he had? They, they just said, "Hey, we're going to hire the defensive coordinator." They had some search committee, some legal firm, or whatever it is. I'm going to have to find it. I've heard people doing that. 
Yeah, now, I will tell you that there's a lot of places it'll work, but West Texas is not one of them. No. I don't know if you've been out there, but it's yeah, that's a different breed of cat now. I have. I mean, that's like going to the hills of Pennsylvania. West Virginia. Yeah, West Virginia. I mean, you just don't go. When I lived in Tennessee, don't go up the wrong dirt road. You get shot. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I did. I did shot at. I was shot at. But one time, one of my players took me, dang, uh, four wheeling, up in the hills in Tennessee, and she would come over and guys are, they're sacrificing a lamb, you know, with, this, you know, circle and all kinds of stuff. I'm in the wrong state. Wow. I'm in the wrong state. <laughs> you got a good feel for that? Why stuff? Willie, do you? Why do you like yeah, to do that? Yeah, it's a lot is how the easiest way to do, to do that. Because it's a big time yeah. overplay to the tight end side. Yes. Tight end call, you know, the zero, zero this year. I mean, zero combo. Whatever we're gonna tight call end it. run game. You liking it? I used to play the Tigers. You were asking about slide Tiger, right? Real no, tiger. Just, no. Oh. Just slide. Just they tiger, slide they, the tiger. Tiger the easy. Yeah, they don't slide with that. For you guys, for what you guys have done, Tiger is the best because you always have your you have your sandwich with the tight end side. Yeah, but we don't get the slide. But. No. Correct. But you put all the people over there. Kind of like that anyway. You just didn't move your linebackers, and you put your you put your Sam and your weak safety over that side automatically by that formation that we looked at. Now, just for instance, on one back. Does anybody want a sandwich? Yeah, I'm ready now. Willie. Oh, I'm fine, Jim. Jim. Kyle. I have what you have. You know what that is, nine? So yeah, nine. John, too. Hmm? Mm -hmm. John. Go ahead, keep going. I'll here. take, I'm doing one, too, because I'm about to around here. <laughs> what do you now, want, Will? <laughs> we've talked, you we've one talked one about uh, slide. Go catch one. We've talked about slide nine. with uh, nine. 11 personnel. You don't need slide to spread look. Twins on one side, pro mm -hmm. the other. You don't need slide to a trips look. Three wide outs because it's not an over shift. You can always keep a force player. This is the only formation versus a four two or anything where they got as long as they've got a tight end blocker where they can they can create a leverage on the edge. Okay? So when eleven personnel comes in the game and they are trying to do this to us, okay, I will put a slide call to the safeties, not to the linebackers. Linebackers will not hear the call. They'll just hear tight G or whatever we got up front. So I say slide. <coughs> To the safeties. Yeah. And then I go two blue, <coughs> whatever we want to play. Solo, sky, special. I mean anything you'd make in his normal coverage call. Okay? So if they come up in a normal set, balance, we're playing two blue. If they come up trips, you're maybe playing two blue solo. But if they come up in this set, okay, they come up in this set, the weak safety's gonna say slide. This is an overshift to tight end set. So they're going to slide, and now he's going to say whatever I told him. If I told him solo at the end of the call, then we're going to play solo, which means he's going to vertical number three. Right. If I said sky, then he'll stay back, and if they if they show pass, then he'll be a flat drop, and we'll play sky. And we also play what we call a vice call, which we also do with in two back, where actually what it tells him is we're going to look like sky and I'm going to snap the ball past you, so I'm going to run underneath number one. Basically, it's a double from a run alignment. When I do that, I will play special over here because I got to be able to handle or roll, I got to be able to handle number three vertical. So the key to this though is that weak safety will never get any closer than about eight yards. All he is is the big gap cut back and he is the pitch player, force player to that side. Put a blast on that at all? Could. Tied you blast. You just don't know if you're going to get a slide call or not. Oh, that's right. Now against our offense, yeah, now right. what we do, what we're going to we're going to start doing, we're not going to do against us because we've got some young ends. But when we get in the season, one of the things we're going to do is when we get slide, that Sam's going to say slide to the end. 
tell him instead of him playing the amp to play seven, he can move just to an outside leverage nine technique. And that's good versus our offense, especially in this versus loaded option. Because now you got two guys can get outside the tight end. But you know, we used to get forever unless you run a smoke, get outside zone or zone, yeah, you know, yeah. G and T. Now we don't we don't, we don't get any of it anymore. Hardly. The weak safety doesn't get closer than eight. No. Because all he has to do is play the B gap cutback. Mm -hmm. That B gap cut could hit fast on the belly, couldn't it? Oh, if you give me if you if you G'd it or something over here? Yeah. If they were doing something like that, but now you're probably gonna get next time, you're probably gonna get a sky call or a vice call from me. Where I'm gonna get him up there where he can be now in a you know, off the end's foot at four yards. So when I say solo is when I say he gets no closer than eight. Right. Well, on a sky or a vice call, that's when he's right. now able to move up into more of a leverage position. Right. If you're in a sky or a vice and you got slide, will he move in there like a normal slide? Yeah, he'll be on the outside. Sky or vice, he'll move up here four yards, four play yards. right there on the end outside of the... Outside foot? Yep. I don't know, I mean, I can't get around. John, what do you want, call number nine? Anyone? Willie? No. What, what kind it of... Sounds like I like a nine. Nine is like an Ita a Philadelphia Italian soup. Like hot peppers on it? Yeah, that's fine. I'm Anybody Kansas else want hot peppers? Kyle? Hey, no hot peppers for me, Listen. Yeah. They're not, I mean, they're banana peppers. Okay, the banana pepper, the hot peppers. Is it a sky or it's a, is it a solo? <laughs> Look, I don't, excuse me, to take. Damn, I don't know. I don't know if it's Scott, if the sky's up or down. I'll be calling this field. G. I'm too stupid to coach this blue, defense. Solo. Huh? I'm too stupid to coach this defense. <laughs> I don't know, listening to you, I think you guys actually do, do more stuff than we do. We do a lot of stuff. Linebackers have to do a lot more. Can tell you that. The thing, once again, the thing I would just say is that it keeps me from hyperventilating. Is that obviously this spring, particularly early, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, we need to be looking at any of the fronts. We'll call it bench just simply because that's what we've called it before instead of boundary. Because boundary's too many syllables. Split and tight. We can run the whole gamut of. Tight was the other toy. Like? Field. 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 We'll run the wide concept, okay? We'll run the dogs, the bullets, smokes. the smokes, okay? And we'll run two, blue. Right. What this on tape? Huh? <coughs> Just talking out loud. Two, blue, five. You never call two, blue, five. Our base call. He thought he, thought he was key. He, he, he thought he was the cover. Just listen to the blue solo. I don't know if we even get into special. What are you saying, Kyle? We could run two, five, right? Mm -hmm. Two, five, solo, whatever. What else would we need? We need zero. Are they going to get an empty? Uh -huh. Yeah. You're probably going to want to kind of find some way to not always have to play roll on the trip side if they're going to get an empty. Okay. That's the only reason for special. That's why special came about is because you could never check solo unless you're going to have a nickel guy in there. Because so we never we never check solo to a double width. Once that, again, back here, then we're playing whatever we want, right? And over here, we're playing. You got to do with uh, roll. roll. No, he's he's saying you want a different way to do it. Yeah, right. special. That's special, right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. He's out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can play this like five move. Mm -hmm. Except that's a strong safety again for us. Whenever you do that, obviously, you have something in here so they're not running quarterback draw. Well, right? yeah, all the time. But, I mean, you didn't know they were coming out. And they goes Sometimes and we go, they're going to do it because we have an empty check, just like I'm sure you guys And that's an automatic. 
twist in there? Yeah, a lot of times, uh, you know, well. not just twist. Ours is this bumps thing is this. No. Well, that's the other thing. You get nickel, but uh, hog is what is we we haven't talked about three man. That is that was always his favorite for empty check. Because it's different to quarterback draw. Yeah, because you're you're coming you cross the face with both guys, and that's the boundary over here. So if that center turned back on that cross his face. <clears throat> Most time with most time most time with uh, with quarterback draw, and I don't know if you're wrong, but most time it's a man approach. Probably no sense even messing with slide when we're not gonna see any two back, right? No. No, but we'll see one back trips. Slide in particular in line twelve. What do you got have what do you got? Scoot for you know, Yeah, scoot part of that deal. Scoot slide. You know, that's probably more than we can handle the whole thing is where do we sit with 50 defense are we better getting creating our things out of this well, I, see, you can see how much can get. Yeah. I like being able to pull the 50 out of the back pocket because it changes it changes your protection schemes and everything yeah. it creates havoc and we throw 50 in there I think that's kind of what this is kind of what we have what, we're talking about. what we put in our installation do we yeah, not so, yeah. We have three on there. Three, three, yeah. Do you need three, Gary? I mean, we got it in there. First day we got, in your vernacular, the first day we got going in coverage-wise, we got uh, two, roll, three, zero, and sky. Second day we got the wide, you know, wide going in. We've got uh, five, flip, I still don't understand flip, I'm sorry. Zero, uh, with like fiddle, and then we got solo and bronco. Yeah, and you don't you don't you would have you would have to teach fiddle the first day, I mean on the field. Would have to? I got to I'll talk second day. I'm saying on the set I mean you could leave all the man coverages out of it as far as the brackets and stuff if you want to you want to be good at because we don't play any man on our offense until the fourth day. We teach it on the board, uh -huh. but we don't we don't play it on the field. Because we are yeah, saying plays in your practices, you don't in your team stuff, you don't run any bullets. In yeah. the first couple practices I watched. Yeah. But you put it in your first day. Yeah, we teach every we teach just like we teach in two days. We don't allow to blitz early unless we now we blitz versus cans. We had our own period uh -huh. of that. But we don't we so don't get a couple days knowing what you're doing before you do So that's the reason why they can never handle us in the blitz, because their ass never works on it, and we, then we always do it. The third day we got going in, in your vernacular again, we got blue and blue press. Now, blue press to me is kind of like a special call, just in the sense that that corner's now out of it, and it's like I'm playing on the back side of a tight end. Yeah, really, blue press should only come in a goal line type situation. Okay, so I, we don't need that because we have red then. Or, or maybe we get rid of red and call it green press or something. Might as well call it red just to remind them they're in the red zone. All right. And then uh, you don't ever run anything like kick. We we do something where we do like a, instead of a instead of a uh, what am I looking for solo? Yeah, the solo. Solo or deep check. We kick. We kick. We we instead of a rocket. Front side corner rolls hard. Free safety rolls over the top. Backside weak safety now rolls That's five the solo. That's five oh, solo. Yeah. No, no. Our guy's rolling over to a third. He's not playing a half. Yeah, but basically that's what it ends up being because he don't have to worry about number three. Right. Okay. That's for the Cowboys. Huh? But you got to squat out there. Yeah, the corner's hard and the free safety's over I got smokes going in and dogs and then the stunts too, you know. And then we, we put our 50 stuff in. Put our 50 stuff in. So is that about what we got up there? I'd say that's more than, that's plenty. For us to get started, right? I'd say I wouldn't mess with much more than that. And you're suggesting we don't do the man stuff maybe even for a little bit further down. So I get practice four or five unless you just. When you say man, you're talking about zero. You're not zero talking button. about the solo stuff. Yeah, I'm just talking about zero. That's it. Uh, Huh? The way I see it, there's 
The way I see it, there's not much more than that. They're just coming up with the way combinations, to the ways to fit it. That's my whole point. That's why we say multiplicity but simplicity. We look like we're doing a hell of a lot. We yeah. don't do a lot. Well, well, once again, you just uh, able to spell it out. Once again, if to keep me from hyperventilating, it's like when we came up. Once we learned the Roger Louis concept, yeah. Now we could say Roger Loop. You know. Sure. Uh, Fifty-three yeah. Roger Loop. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So let me order these sandwiches. Gary, when you go I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean to cause you to hyperventilate on a weekend. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Gary, how much, John? When you go to your slide package. Yeah. What should I order for him? What? What can I order for that guy? Get him a nine. What's your, does anybody remember what he eats normally? There he is right there, Coach. John! Let me, what do you want for lunch? I just wanted that something. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, how much did it cost you? No. Well, I mean, I'll reimburse you, so. <laughs> huh? When you go on a slide. Yeah. Uh, I know, but we, I was going to buy your lunch. Your so shade linebacker. Running all over this place player. looking for you. Did you oh, go to John's? Do they screw that up a lot because they're used to hard giants so much? sandwich. Let them take it home. The yards, you want to order your sandwich eat it later? No, you have to work on it, though. Yeah. What kind of sandwich I mean, do you normally eat? The turkey one? Young guys do, older guys don't. Yeah. If I was to tell if they do go over to something, how we're going to play the back side. So it's either going to be Sky or Solo. Two blue flip. Sky or two blue flip Solo. Okay, that's the most generic one you got. Yep. Don't you put Sky and Solo together? You can in a two-back situation. Two I-backs back. I play Sky, anything else we play Solo. This is versus 12. Yeah, 12. Okay. No scoot on the front of that. Right now, the tight ends are... No, no, no I'm talking yeah. about... He, up here, it's, no, yeah, I go, I go scoot, and then I go two blue, flip, Solo. Same way that I do slide. I'm going to tell them we're going to move. Slide, two blue, flip, Sky. Okay. Any kind of front with it? Yes. Okay. Any kind of stunt with it? As long as it doesn't affect the linebacker, as long as the linebacker's not running through. Because they don't run through it. We even scoop yeah. double smoke. Because we're going to come off the edges, and so they're in ace. So we got double smoke coming, and then they shift the tight end and start moving over with scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay, so take me, take take me through the whole thing with twelve there. Right now, again, uh, reading left play two, blue on the back side. We're not scoot, so the call is tight. You scoot up front. We're not scooting because we're not on the tight ends are balanced. Right. Okay. Right. So you're not playing sky on the back. You're playing blue. Yep, because it's a balanced set. Okay. All right, n n let me just ask the questions as we go. The right wide out motions across to the left. You're just playing your normal thing. We're going to go to solo. We're widening out. We say if you say solo, the corner comes down to regular way you play formation. I didn't have solo flip on this call. Down. I had two blue flip sky. Then we check roll. Okay, you go flip. You won't oh, and, and with, flip. I'm sorry. Okay. When flip comes this, just like flip rules, we're just going to say right now he always goes over. Okay. So it's coming over. So he comes over. What's happening over there now? Playing flip. Back here we're in a solo. Flip means we're in solo. Okay. And what's flip mean on the front side? What do, what's it mean? They're playing speed? blue. He's swing deep at three and he's vertical at three. Okay. I'm with you. Alright. Corner comes over. Okay. So now this is and since you already you put me in this, now this is a great thing for uh, now to use scoot and why you went flip. Because now you got it over. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. so we scooted here. We're scooting here, right? Yeah, but we're not scooted yet because scoot has to do with the tight ends. Okay. Scoot you, got means no, you got an overshifted tight end set here, though. No, we don't. The tight ends are not on the same side. Okay, but before. Yeah, but before that's slide. That's not slide. Slide is a two back, is a slip two back deal. And scoot is when tight ends are going to become going to create a two back principle with tight ends on the same side. Okay, good. I'm glad that happened. Yeah. So you 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 called slide against eleven, got trips, and you yeah. Scoot. There's one tight end in the ball game. Yeah. yeah. Scoot's the difference. 
Scoot's is okay. And that's why I'm going back to, we'll only use Scoot. 12. You said 11. Yeah, and we'll use it. Slide. But when, when we use, when I'm going to call to the front, now this is where both are being told. Yeah. Okay. In 11, and if I would ever call Scoot to 11 personnel, to the linebackers. No matter what the formation 11 was. Oh, you said they'd do it automatically. They'd, they'd come over and look like a 4-3 team would. Mm. They'd look like that. Okay? Mm. And we can do that. But, but generally. You're, you're still in good shape here. If they run the front side zone to that, that free safety the guy's got to make the tackle, right? Well, see here, for this, this guy again is going to line up inside. They keep him inside. Remember he said flip is, is a run so leverage. You can't, get to the, yeah. you can't get to the strong safety. Using, our offense, hey, this is where we play our offense on a daily basis right here when they're in this stuff. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to get this where this is something we could really spend some time with. Now, okay, so the tight ends are balanced, so we're just playing base. We're in tight G. Okay, the call is tight G scoop. The tight ends are balanced, so we're playing tight G and we're playing flip. Okay. okay? So now, they came out like that. That's exactly how we line up. Correct. The motion's back. Corner's going back over, going back to blue, two reading left. Right, if the ball is on the left hash, and they put those two wide outs into the in them. We're going to flip. Now they come back over, we'd be going reading right, though, right? Uh, just depends on, on what you want. If most of the time when you're going to do this, we, we have two rules. One, sometimes we'll never flip in the battery. Okay. But if you were doing that to me, and they were going to do it the first time he come back, this guy would probably check back the sky. So he'd end up in two across the board when the guy came across. Yeah. Because he's going to protect his he's going to protect his vertical. And we would have been, well no, we'd been in flip, he'd already been up here. Yes, he would be two reading right. If that if this was in the battery. Yeah. You're asking me things that never happened before. You've never seen people put trips well, in the battery. Well they put it in the battery, but never, never where they've ever they ever really get very much for this, and this is even whack-wise. Again, one of the things you got to remember with us, you put your two wide receivers in the battery and we're going to run dogs, you don't have any hots. You know what I'm saying? For us, with our blitz package, you start putting people in the battery, you lose all the credibility <coughs> being able to get away from the blitz package. So they can't, most people, we don't have to deal with a whole lot of it. Again, you know, I told you, we get a lot narrowed game plan than what a lot of people do. But anyway, I'm sorry, going ahead. What are we going to ask? Uh, now we go. The rest is just the tight end tap stuff, which you already did out of base balance, right? I got no problem there. And see what the nice part of wide flip is important to use versus this is so when you tap, now it comes here. Your corners are already used over. Now it's over shifted, so it becomes a scoop call, sky call, just like if you're on the backside of twins. But I'm scooping in, but I'm still playing uh, curl. Now, see, it's harder to do that. You can leave it there. If you don't play flip with it, you don't play flip with it, it's harder to do that without getting the corner over. And do you play, can you play scoot with, uh, do you play with zero at all? Can. But here's the thing. Zero told you, unless you're going to pass him off, told the guy to run over, you're really doing scoot, but you're just running the guy that has a man over the other side and playing a man. Mm, that's what we've done. And that's, that's a good, we do that as a change up also. That's a good way to do it. Where the linebacker stay the same, he comes over now. He's saying banjo yeah, too. He's saying banjo too. Start me out and just ring and roll twelve personnel and take me through with that. So what would you call it? Uh, just with zero? Zero free or zero fiddle press? So, so the whole call would be. Let's say I said tight G. Do I say tight G scoot zero? Yes. And that's what you. That's going into your front. Okay. Now see, again, you're going back to. Secondary is not looking at me, so. And I'm not, the front's not looking at me, the secondary's looking at me, and the opposite. So Mark goes tight, he scoot the linebackers. They're not even told coverage in the call. It's the safety's job to tell the linebackers to call. So they got tight, he scoot, I go zero, free, press. Uh, excuse me, scoot, zero, free, press. Scoot went with the front call too? Tight G yes. Scoot. Okay. 
So you told Mark, Tai Chi Scoot, he signal, he's signaling that in, and you said, Scoot, zero free press. Okay? And if I wanted him to slam or do anything else in the front, then it would be Tai Chi Army Scoot. You know, I just couldn't tell him. You know, he has to look at the wristband and see, well, Army's number four. But if he thinks he's independent of you running the, running the front, <clears throat> you got to say, I'm thinking of going Scoot. So he'll hold call some or, or call something with Scoot, okay. 12 personnel. So right. he's either going to leave it base or he's going to call a twist or he's going to call slants. All right, I'm with you. All right, so here we go. we got zero free. See if he's got tight ends. Backers are looking out the back, right? Fiddle. What, what do you do with the other back? Okay, the, let's say the back flares right so that backer takes him. Uh, it just depends on game plan. Sometimes we'll blitz him. Sometimes he'll look for walls. just depends on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a good quarterback, we leave him. So the guy the can't run. Or something, yeah, right. when he can't run. Tight end, wide outs cross, corners go with him, no problems. Yeah. Right? No banjos, though. Yeah. Yellow? Yeah. I'll be there. Thanks. Ten minutes, somebody remind me. Okay. Oh, he said downstairs. What the fuck's that mean? I told him to go up the fucking ramp. Probably that's the only where he can get. It's the only place he can go. Where? Unless the gates open down. No, he can only go up there. Hope that's what he does.